Welcome to our 2024 New Year's Challenge. Hey friends, it's Kate here. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am so excited that we are so far along our challenge. I hope you're feeling more energized, ready to get going with your fitness journey this year. Remember, every class is standalone. You can repeat it, you can start at any spot, but I will put a link up there if you wanna begin from the start. Now, today's class is a 15 minute bar class. This one in particular is gonna be real good for our inner and outer thighs and our glutes. Now, there's a lot of balance work in this, so I am gonna demonstrate with a chair, but you do not have to have it if you wanna challenge your own balance. I'm also gonna use a small stability ball. It is absolutely not required. You can 100% do it without it. It's just kind of there as like a helpful tactile cue to kind of squeeze. You don't have to have it though. Go ahead, roll out your mat, grab a chair if you want to. Let's get started. We'll start standing, hands by your side, shoulders down, ears high. Start to engage your abdominal muscles. Squeeze where your thigh butt connects, your thut. Take a big inhale, dip your chin to chest. Bend your knees, fold from the sternum, a tiny forward fold. Take another breath and then deepen into your biggest forward fold. How far, how shallow that is, it's entirely up to you. Nod the head yes, shake it no. Do your thing. Bend roll all the way up to standing. Inhale, both hands lift high. Drop them down by your sides again. Chin to chest. Bend the knees. From the sternum we roll first. Hands are heavy. Roll all the way down to the ground. Tuck the tail. Roll all the way up. Again, both hands lift high. Clasp the hands behind the head, elbows wide, wrap the tummy and lean over to your right, come on up. Lean over to your left, come on up. Release, again, chin to chest, bend, roll yourself down. Roll yourself up. Both hands lift high. Hands behind the head, elbows wide, twist to your right. Look center, twist to your left. Look center and release. If you want, you can be right next to your chair and touch it. You don't have to. Hands could be at your hips or other side. But let's pick up our right heel, drop it down. Pick up our left heel, drop it down. Just beginning to wake up our ankles, our feet. Now I'm not lifting the toes up. I'm coming more to a forced arch. So just the heels are lifting and the toes are staying connected. As much as you can, try to keep your weight even. Obviously, with our legs separate like this, there's gonna be some rocking of your weight right and left, but we don't want to actively rock from side to side. I am preventing myself from moving too much. Once or twice more, just like that. Let's take it into a march where we're rolling through our foot. So roll, pick up the knee, set it down, pick up the knee, set it down. So when I lift, I think heel ball toe, heel ball toe, when I set it down, it's toe ball heel, toe ball heel, rolling through the feet. Don't worry about going at a particular speed or pace. We're just marching and again, trying to keep the ears high. Now, every time you lift up the leg, obviously that is some work for our lower body, but also think of it as abdominal work. I use my deep tummy muscles to help pick up the knee. Once more, side to side. And then slow that down. Let's walk our feet in together, squeeze the inner thighs, shoulders down. Take your hands by your sides. I want us to sit back in a little plie, stand up tall. Now when our legs are parallel and we do a plie here, we are lightly pitching forward, almost more like a yoga chair than when we're doing a traditional plie in a ballet or a bar class where our shoulders and hips stay one above the other. This is more, again, just to keep waking up the body. <sighs> Inhale upright, exhale, sit back. I squeeze the inner thighs together. I really let my knees reach as far forward as I can so I get a deep, beautiful stretch through my calf muscles. And I just let my arms swing to keep waking up the shoulders. If that feels uncomfortable for you, you wanna just keep your hands off to the side, you wanna hold on to your chair, you have all of those options. Last time, down. Stand up tall and straight, lift up and out of the waist. You can hold on to your chair if you want to, but I want you to pick up your right heel now, pick up the right toe, and can we touch the toe straight out in front of us? We're just in a small little tendu. Flex and point. Flex 
and point. Lift higher out of your left side. Like I'm physically pulling your left ear up to the sky. Three, two, this time flex, pause. Push the heel away, broaden across the chest from your hip, rotate, release. Rotate, release. Moving there way up high in that ball and socket joint. Three, two, one, bring it back, point the toe in. Now from here, I want us to point, flex, rotate, release. Point, flex, rotate, release. Again, point, flex, rotate, release. Two more, point, flex, rotate, release. Last time, remember you might go slower or faster than me, that's okay. Pull the toe in, shake it out. Let's sit back in our little plie, our yoga chair, whatever you want to call it. Rise up tall, stand through the right side, pick up your left heel, touch the toe out in front of you, navel in, flex and point, flex and point. Take that at your own pace. Remember, you might go faster, you might go slower. It's a-okay if we do. We're just moving through our own bodies. Flex, hold. And again, let's rotate, release. That happens way up high in the ball and socket joint. Everything else is still. We're just moving from that one area. Three, two, one. Now let's put it all together. Point, flex, rotate, release. Point, flex, rotate, release. If you have your hands lifted like me, what are your arms doing? Are you starting to sag the elbows down? We want them just as active as the rest of our body. Keep reaching and extending. Can you, oh my goodness, can you squeeze your thigh butt connection a little bit more? Wrapping the tummy in. Two more. Last set. And drop it down, sit back in your little yoga chair. Stand up tall and straight, open up across the chest, beautiful. Pick up your right foot again. Now I want you to point the toe, just barely touching the toe right in, squeezing the inner thighs together. We're gonna rotate here, release. Rotate, release. Try to keep the hips as square as possible. This does take a lot more of our left oblique work to keep this right side so still. Really feel those side tummy muscles and your thut on your left side, helping to keep your body still. Three, two, Last time, rotate, pause. Stretch the foot out in front of you again, and can we flex and point right here? Trying to hold our external rotation. Flex and point, flex and point. Really pull the toes up towards the kneecap. Can you envision I am lifting your left ear up to the sky? I'm physically pulling it up. This time, flex, pause. And again, we rotate, release. Rotate, release. Find that deepest range of motion there for your hip. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Let's put it all together. Point, flex, rotate, release. Stay in your external rotation as you do the point. You got it. Let's do three, two, last one. And then point the toe, pull it in. Rotate it back to parallel, let it go. Sit back in your parallel plie, your yoga chair, whatever you want to call it, I don't mind. Left heel up, really walk the foot in and we'll start that rotation release here. Finding as much or little movement in your hip as possible or whatever works for you. As we talked about, it's our right side that's helping to stabilize. Feel those right tummy muscles working oh so hard. Make sure you're not letting the right hip kind of bump over to the side, but we're still pulling it in. Keep extending the arms out in a way. The chair's there if you need it. You got it. Last time, open pause. Stretch the foot straight out in front of you. Flex and point. Find the movement through your ankle. Try to keep the leg still as much as possible. Almost squeeze the inner thighs together here, even though they are separate. We still want those inner thighs working. Two more. Flex, pause. Rotate, release. Rotate, release. Find the movement in your own hip. I promise you, making sure we're moving through our hips makes a big difference in our body, especially our uh, back. So many of my friends tell me their backs are tight, their hips are tight. We need this mobility. Let's add them together. Point, flex, rotate, release. Point, 
flex, rotate, release. Two more, point, flex, rotate, release. Last one. And then bring it in, return parallel, sit, take your plie, stand tall, pause. Now I'm gonna to turn to face a chair, and this is where we're gonna to start to use our ball if we're going to. And I want us to be like maybe about a foot away from your chair. We should not be gripping it with dear life at all. It's there for just a little bit of balance. Pick up your right leg and bring the ball into the crook of your knee. Many of us want to pull that knee straight forward. Ooh, as I fall over, see we all wiggle wobble. As much as possible, bring your inner thighs towards one another. You might flex the foot, you might point the toe. It doesn't really matter to me. What I don't want to happen here though is to arch the back. Wrap the tummy in. If that means your knee needs to be a little bit in front of your other thigh, that's okay. But we are ideally going for them even with one another. Hold here for just a moment. Lift out of the waist. Squeeze your thut. And now I want you to very purposefully hinge forward and bend your standing knee. Hold there. Flex your foot. Take a big inhale. Pull your heel up towards your sitting bone. Release. Squish the ball. Release. Big squish. Release. Keep your chest open. You could do this without the chair. You can absolutely take your hands in any space, but we can use it for a little bit of balance. Three more, squish, release, squish, release. Two more. This time, squish the ball, pause. Pull your heel up towards your sitting bone. Pulse it, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Again, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Last time, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Pause there for me. Just like we've been doing today, can we rotate the leg open, lifting the thigh? Rotate it closed, pull it back in. Rotate it open, rotate it closed. Keep your chest open and nice and proud. Relax the face, smile. I know this is a big one. Two more. This time, rotate the leg open, pause. Think about your outer thigh reaching up to the sky. Take a big, deep inhale. Lightly pulse your thigh up to the sky. Five, four, three, two, one, pause. Again, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Last time, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Bring the leg in, grab the ball, let it go. Set the ball down if you're using it. Take a step back. Find that nice hinge, a great big L stretch, hips back, chest falls down. Tuck the tail, walk your toes close, roll yourself up. Grab your ball, same thing other side. We'll bring it to the crook of our knee. Try to bring the inner thighs to touch. Make sure we're not dumping forward, we're not arching our back. We're lifting everything in, broadening across the chest. I bend my standing leg, I take a pitch forward, the chair is there if I need it. You could challenge yourself, no hands anywhere. Uh, squish, release, squish, release. It's like the heel is bringing itself up towards the sitting bone. Beautiful. Three, two, contract the tummy muscles. Last one, squish it, pause, pulse. Five, four, three, two, one, pause. Again, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Last time, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Rotate open, rotate down. Keep the hips stable. Keep your chest open. You've got this, my friends. Don't worry if your rotation is less than mine or greater than mine. Our hips are different. Our range of motion is gonna be different. Instead, I want you to contract the tummy as you lift. Let it go. Feel those outer thighs working. Let it go. Last time, lift it up, pause. And then again, we lift our thigh up to the sky. Five, four, three, two, one, pause. Again, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Last time, five, four, three, two, one, hold. Drop the knee, take the ball out. Take a step or two back. Lightly bend your knees, push your sitting bones back behind you. If you don't have a chair, I would recommend doing this at the wall because it does feel so good. Or, or countertop works too. Keep the knees softly bent, really send your sitting bones back so you're getting a great big stretch from the tip of your head through your spine out your tail. Straighten your right leg, bend the left, but keep your weight even between the two so I'm not swaying over to the left, weight stays still. Tip your right sitting bone up to the sky, almost like you're arching your back. Rebend both knees. Straighten the left leg, bend the right. Again, weight is even. Tip your left sitting bone up to the sky. Rebend both knees. 
drop into a true big forward fold and then roll yourself all the way up to standing. Take a moment standing tall and proud. Full big inhale, big breath out. As always, my friends, I invite you to pat yourself on the back. Thank yourself for doing something so good and just for you. I certainly hope you enjoyed class. I cannot wait to see you again.